This is a momentous day in the history of our country because we have passed historic, consequential, and transformative legislation. It showers money on special interests, but spends less than 9% on actually defeating the virus. Just hours ago, the U.S. House gave final approval to President Biden's COVID relief plan. As political editor John Delano explains, most Americans will get a check for $1,400 as soon as the president signs the bill. In the end, it was a party line vote. Not a single Republican in Congress supported President Biden's plan. But a win is a win, and this one means more cash in the hands of individuals, families, small businesses, schools, and local governments. This bill was going to go a, a long, long way uh, to helping us defeat the virus. Once the president signs the bill on Friday, $1,400 checks will go out by the end of the month to individuals making under $75,000 and couples making under $150,000. This bill will provide aid to those people who are unemployed through no fault of their own due to COVID. $300 a week through early September and billions of dollars for vaccines and vaccine distribution. Republicans like I. Reschenthaler said they supported some of these items but voted no to providing them because they say the bill went beyond COVID relief. The problem is, is that 91% of this bill does not get help to people that need it. It, it, it has health care, um, health care for illegal immigrants. It has $50 million for Planned Parenthood. It has bailouts for blue states that have had budget issues for years. This is not a narrowly tailored bill to get help to people that need help. Well, first of all, it's not true. Democrat Mike Doyle says Republicans only count the vaccination monies and ignore the critical economic support many need, including Pittsburgh. We will avoid the layoffs, be able to give the same amount of services that people have expected the past few years and to not only guarantee it for this year, but next year as well. But Republicans blame those governments for mismanaging the pandemic. Crush their revenues by, by, the, by the draconian measures that they took. They're getting rewarded for irresponsible behavior. As for Republicans who voted no, Democrats predict. I'm sure they'll be there when the checks are being held, handed out to their constituents. John Delano, KDKA News.